Hey guys, we're about to go through what stocks for the week of December 4th, 2023 through December 8th of 2023 um, are starting to move up, or I should say, which fundamentally sound stocks are moving up from their annual low price. Before we jump into that list, we want to talk about the stocks that we removed or are removing from the watch list. Kraft Heinz was removed. Keysight Technologies will be removed after this week. L3 Harris Technologies was removed. Northrop Grumman will be removed after this week. Exponent was removed. United Parcel Service, UPS, they'll be removed after this week. Harley Davidson was removed. Middleby Corporation will be removed after this week. Value Line Incorporated was removed. Ulta Beauty, AMN Healthcare. IDEX Corporation will be removed after this week. And Malibu Boats, Dover Corporation, Dorman Products, Texas Instruments, and Dios Incorporated were removed. These stocks were removed because they already moved up from their annual low price. I don't see them moving up that much more, so I'm removing them from the list. Having said that, let's jump into the stocks. They are still on the list, and we have quite a few um, to cover this week. I like to look at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ first, because those three stocks represent pretty much the entire stock market, so we can get an idea for what the stock market is doing by looking at those three. In any event, we'll start with the S&P 500, and we see what the SPY, it's moved up six weeks in a row. This week, that just passed, it didn't really move up much, but it was in positive territory. It moved from the bottom to up. It didn't go down like we expected, We'll see what happens the next week. But as we see, it looks like it may be about to go down because these last two weeks are pretty much side by side. We see the same thing with the Dow. Moved up five weeks in a row and sort of sideways this next week, or this last week, I should say. And the NASDAQ, it's moved up one, two, three, four. I would say we're seeing the six positive candle, but the last three, which represents weeks, are in a sort of sideways pattern. So now let's jump into our stocks on our watch list. And, um,. For those who watch this watch list already, they're already familiar that I break the, the stocks on our fundamentally sound watch list into three tiers. Three stars are the most fundamentally sound. Two stars are a little belief beneath that. And one star is the least fundamentally sound of the stocks on the watch list. Still considered fundamentally sound, but not as sound as a three-star or even a two-star for that matter. So we start with Metafast. It's a three-star. It's our highest tier. It's currently at $74.81. However, Yahoo Analyst estimate that this stock will go up to $73. It's already above that. So sometimes the analyst estimate can be off, but the estimates give us an idea of what we can expect the stock to move up to. So 
Do I see this stock moving much higher? Time will tell. Not really sure. But what we can say is that Metafast has a dividend yield of about 9%, which is extremely high for those who are interested in dividends. It's hard to find stocks given dividends that high. Atrion Corporation. They're a three-star, currently at $325.87. Now, Yahoo analysts don't provide um, an estimate on how high they feel this stock can move up to. But based on my calculations from the P.E. ratios, I feel it can move up to $368.43 in the next 12 months. And we see that Atreon is sort of in a sideways pattern. We want to see if it starts to break up this next, starts to move up this next week. It's been in a sideways pattern around four weeks. Bristol Myers Pharmaceuticals. They are currently at $50.31 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate, estimate that they can move up to $63.23 in the next 12 months. They're also, for anybody who owns them before January 4th, they're about to give a dividend, 60 cents for each share. Almond Industries, they are a two-star. Currently at $219.93 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $254.80 a share. They are also about to give a dividend. So if you own them before December 28th, they will be giving $0.60 cents a share. Now, you notice this last week, they actually went down slightly, not much. So it's sort of been week up, week down for like the last few, for the last four weeks, one week up, then the negative candle, slightly negative. Another week up, then a slightly negative candle again. So we want to see what they do coming into this week. Marriott Vacations Worldwide. People are familiar with the Marriott Hotels, but they also have a vacation package. Um, so they do Marriott Vacations Worldwide. They're currently at $80.88 a share. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $102.71 a share. They are also in a sideways pattern. So we want to see what they're going, doing going forward. And if you own them before December 20th, they will be giving a $0.76 cents per share dividend. <laughs> Sensian Technologies. Very interesting company. company. They sell their business to business and they sell colors and flavors. Maybe it's um a make a company that makes makeup, they sell the colors for those. And maybe it's a company that sells candy or something like that, they make the flavors for those. In any event, Sensian, like I said, is a three-star. They are currently at $61.37 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate 
that they'll move up to 72 in the next 12 months. Key site technologies. They're another three star. They're currently at $144.33. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $162.53. Tootsie Roll Industries. You know, if you're familiar with the Tootsie Roll candy, they sell other candies and snacks. They're a one star. Currently at $34.12. Yeah, well, it's not Yahoo's analysis. My analysis, Yahoo doesn't provide an estimate for this one. But my estimate based on PE ratios is that they can move up to $45.78 a share in the next 12 months. Next Star Media Group. They own a bunch of stations and so forth, television, media. In any event, they're currently at $148.63. They're in a sort of all over the place. They're in a sideways pattern. We want to we see when they start to break up out of that sideways pattern. In any event, Yahoo analysts say that they could move up to $202 a share in the next 12 months. L3 Harris Technologies, they are a one star. They're currently at $195.81 a share. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $221.38 a share. Advanced 6. They are a two-star. They're currently at $27.14 a share. And they're moving in a sideways pattern. We want to see them break up out of that. But when they break up, Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $40.67 a share. Northrop Grumman. They provide things for the military. They're currently at $476.00. And 25 cents a share. They're a two star. Yahoo Atlas estimate that they can move up to $508.32 a share. Paycom. Paycom is a three star. And They've been moving in a little, maybe in a sideways pattern the last couple of weeks, but they've moved up some. This is a stock that dropped significantly in one week, if we see here. Well, really, they dropped in one day. They dropped around $90 in one day based on a, a um, earnings report that had some things that were worrisome to some people. They are a fundamentally sound company. I have two videos on my channel about Paycom for those who want to learn more about the company. One of them is called What Happened to Paycom Today? And it explains the reason they dropped so dramatically. And the other one is the fundamental analysis on Paycom, so you can see how the company has been doing for the last five years. In any event, they're a three star, currently $186.57 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate 
that they can go up to $201.71 in these next 12 months. RCI Hospitality. They are a three-star, currently at $62.30 a share. They've been moving up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They moved up seven times in the last eight weeks. They're currently at $62.30. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $119.50. In the next 12 months, they are going to be giving a dividend. This is a small one. You have to own them before December 14th, and you get the dividend of six cents per share. Now, fair warning for any who are interested in RCI hospitality, but you're more on the you lean more conservatively. RCI Hospitality owns strip clubs. So if you're on the conservative side, this may not be the stock for you. Omega Flex, another three star. They're at $77.71 a share. And Yahoo doesn't provide an estimate. But based on my analysis from P.E. ratios, I feel they can move up to $112.66 a share. Like I said, they're a three-star. They're about to give a dividend, but you have to own the stock before December 18th to be eligible. And it will be $0.33 cents a share. UPS, United Parcel Service, they're a two-star. They're currently at $156.30 a share, and Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $163.67 a share. Zebra Technologies, they're a three-star. They are at $236.13 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $265.67 a share. They are, I don't know if I would call them manufacturers, but maybe you go to the supermarket, you buy your stuff, when you buy your stuff, they have that little wand that they're using to add up the prices on all the products you buy. Boop, boop, boop. Well, Zebra Technology makes those kinds of things. That's what they make. Darling Ingredients. They're a two-star. Currently at $47.59 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 71. They were moving in a sort of sideways pattern, but broke up out of it last week. We'll see what they do going into this next week. McCormick and Company. They're a no star, but I added them on this list anyway. Maybe because I like them. They they make the check your black pepper in your house. If it comes in a can, it may be made by McCormick. In any event, they're currently at $67.09 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $76.54 a share. They are about to give a $0.42 cents a share dividend, but you have to own them before December 28th. LKQ Corporation. They're a one star, currently at $45.40 a share. 
Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $62.75 a share. Higgum Institution for Savings. They are a two-star, currently at $175.51, $175.51. $175.51 a share, moving in a sideways pattern. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $189.53 a share. Well, actually, that's my estimate based on P-E ratio. Yahoo didn't provide analysis, but my analysis based on P-E ratio, and this is conservative says they can move up to $189.53. They are about to give a $0.63 per share dividend, but you have to own them before December 29th. Biogen. Biogen is currently at $239.29 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $320.47 a share, and they are a three-star. Medtronix, they're a three-star, currently at $79.35 a share. Yahoo analysts feel they can move up to $90.15 a share. They are about to give a dividend. You have to own them before December 19th, and the dividend will be $0.69 a share. General Motors. Um, I guess another one I added here out of a motion. They're they're not on our... They're they're not a one-star, two-star, or three-star. General Motors was on strike. The strike is over. They've moved up the last couple of weeks. They're currently at 33.75. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $46.82. Middle B Corporation. They make things for kitchens and restaurants, whether stoves, uh, whatever the case is. They're currently at $135.21. Like I said, a three-star. They've moved up six of the last weeks. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $153.00. And seventy five cents. Thermo Fisher Scientific. They're currently at four hundred and eighty nine dollars and seventy seven cents a share. Yahoo Atlas estimate they can move up to five hundred and twenty six dollars and one cents a share. Now, this last, they're three star. This last week, they moved down. So they moved up, then a negative candle the next week. Three more weeks of moving up, and now we see a slight negative candle again. We want to see what they do coming into this next week. They're about to give a dividend of $0.35 per share, but you have to own them before December 14th to be eligible. IDEX Corporation. They're a three-star. Currently $204.84 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $220.42 in these next 12 months. Commercial Metals Company, they're a one-star, 
currently $45.78 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $56.40 a share. And they're still moving in sort of a sideways pattern. We want to see them break out of that. Hillen Brand Inc. They are a one star. Currently $40.82 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $64.33 a share. They are about to give a $0.22 cent dividend for each share, but you have to own them before December 14th to be eligible for that dividend. Okay, guys, so that's our watch list for this week. We want to remember what we do here is provide fundamentally sound stocks that are moving up from their annual low price. So you want to buy something that's quality, it's fundamentally sound, so you know that it's worth the value that you're paying for it. And so in any event, I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Have a great day.